Hello and welcome back to part 4 of the Thistle Farm map. We are going to go and pick up a new trailer for our lorry. Because clearly our traction trailer just is not capable of keeping up with the Lexian. So I don't know, I'm gonna, I need to put this somewhere. But it's such a long thing that there isn't really anywhere I can put it. Which is a bit annoying really. Um, yeah, I'll just reverse into here, I think. And then we'll go and pick up the new trailer. Now, I've already got the combine going, and the baler. Uh, thank you for all the comments I got. It was very helpful, actually. Um, I didn't realise that you could set on the auto combine um, whether you wanted it to turn round at the end of each row, and the end of each, uh, end of each run of the field. Um, you can actually get it to just go around the circle, which is actually a lot better. It's up there it's full it fills up so quickly that is the problem with it obviously a lot of yield coming off that field uh, so we're going to go and get this trailer this should improve things because we won't be going back and forth quite so much uh, the only thing I'm going to have to look into is of course emptying it because the trailer um, I think is a tipper I'm going to have to check if it's not a tipper it's not a problem um, if it is then I don't really know how I'm going to be able to sell the grain uh, because the selling trigger is inside that building and the trailer will go through the roof so hopefully it won't tip up hoping it will be one of those ones that pushes it out the back that would be much better and um, yeah my interactive uh, my the, you know the I button when you open up the PDA thing it's not working and someone I can't remember who it was now um, responded to me about that and there's works so it's obviously just a problem with me I'm not sure what it could be maybe a mod is conflicting with it I have no idea but I'll hopefully uh, look into that and get that fixed fairly soon because that is a bit annoying I'm sure I did actually bring it, bring it up in part one I'll have to check I've also still got the frame rate problem in certain areas of the map which is a bit weird. I really don't know what that's about. I think it must be a mod. I think it's a certain mod that I've got which is messing a few things up. I doubt it's a problem with the map. I think it is with me. Uh, but yeah, this trailer... Oh, it's good it is. It's a pushing back one. Empties out the back. So that will be fine when we are selling our grain. And this has got a capacity, if I remember rightly, 49,000 litres, which is obviously a lot better than the Marshall trailer but it's still going to not take too long to fill it up coincidentally someone did comment um, about this field before I published episode 3 um, between me recording it and publishing it saying that it took them a really long time and even two Lexians wasn't enough and two cases weren't enough and everything uh, so I've only got one and I'm thinking, this is going to take a long time. It's unloading a lot better in this trailer as well. Which looks a lot more realistic. So we will pull out the way. Uh, I can't really see a great deal that I can do. I think the baler is good following it like that because it's obviously staying in line and it's not missing bits like I would. Uh, so I think if I just keep an eye on the combine and make sure I don't let it stop too much and that will probably be the best way of doing this. The good thing about this field is because it is so straight it means that all the bales are going to be so easy to collect. We haven't been going around bends or anything to bale them all up. So it really should just be a case of going whoop, up there, down there, unload, get the next load. Should be really easy. But yeah, this is somewhat of a de deceptive field. A very deceptive field. It is huge, but my first impression of it was it wasn't too big. So we will unload the combine once again. I've got it set to not unload on the move, mainly because it can be quite hard to get the same speed as it. And like here, if it was at the end, you'd be probably trying to turn at the same time as unloading and that would mess it all up. So that is much quicker and easier, I think. 
I've just got to avoid getting too close to it because it will stop and think I'm wanting to unload again. But I've got it on the setting to hopefully keep going around on the corners. It shouldn't stop. Let's have a look. Okay. It is kind of turning. It's not doing what it did before. Yeah, it's not reversed back again. So that is better. Much better. Another issue with going around the corners is the baler misses bits. But it should only be on the corners it misses bits. It's, it's done a pretty good job overall. And with this trailer we can now calculate that four combine loads is one trailer load. Whereas before we had two combine loads to one trailer load. So we've We've made it twice as good. Much better. And I think I'll go somewhere over here where I think it will be emptying next. Not sure exactly. Just going to have to guess. We'll try about here, I think, and we'll wait for it to come around. And again, we'll position ourselves here. Not calculated how long it takes to fill up. It must be quite a long way. Not really sure where to put it. Maybe about here. It always stops early, but I think we've got to empty it this time. And I have got a theory of why I'm getting these lag issues. Possibly even why my PDA doesn't work. Um, now, I think that when I bought all my machines, because the shop was full and there wasn't that little notification thing which pops up and tells you that the store area is full, I think they tried to spawn everything which overflowed we try to spawn somewhere else, or maybe on top of another machine. Um, and these machines are the auto stacker, and I think I initially tried to buy the JCB, but it wouldn't buy for one reason, and it must be because it had already been bought and spawned somewhere else. Now, when I go in the shop, it says I don't own any. But I have a sneaky suspicion that if I was to go in the script for this map, for my save game, the XML file, I think I might see those machines in there. Because I did not have the serious lag and the problem with the PDA before I started buying equipment. And those machines which I bought never spawned. So, I don't know, I could be wrong. I could be completely wrong, but it would make sense, it would make sense, because I bought them and they never appeared. Uh, and ever since, I've had these seriously bad lag spikes. So yeah, something to think about and I think I will be looking into that. That could be it. I might have hit the nail on the head. Yep, because this is getting annoying actually, this lag. Especially when it's just me which is experiencing it. That makes it worse. Because then I know it's a problem which I've done. And I've got to try and find it. Otherwise it means starting a new save game which I really don't want to do. Because that would really ruin it. But we will head up here and get ready to empty the combine. Otherwise We'll have to go and buy the auto stacker again. Because I do I did own it. 
which is what is so annoying. I did own the auto stacker, but it just never appeared. So I'll just pull out the way in a second and then we'll go and buy the auto stacker again if I can, if I can afford it. Uh, let's have a look here. Bailing technology, oh it's 45,000. So once we've sold this next load, we'll go and buy that. And then we'll start clearing up these bales. A lot of bales I know can cause lag, but I know it's not that which has done this because we've only just started making the bales. Um, but yeah, a lot can cause problems. So we'll sit tight and wait for the combine to fill up again. And here we go again. It's now starting to like make a little curve at the end where it keeps turning in at the end of each row. But we're now getting a nice field of bales. This should be really good for our st straw, our straw stack. Should look pretty good. Uh, I think this time actually, instead of just sitting back, so I lost track of time back there and it had already stopped. Uh, I'll go ahead over here, get ready for it to stop. It's done sort of almost all of that in one tank, so maybe if I was to go sort of halfway down here, then that might be a good judgement of where it's going to stop. Maybe. Yeah, because it's over there, about here. I'll try it, we'll see. I'll wait here for it again. Interestingly, I've just found another way of opening up my PDA. If I minimise the game and then come back into the game, I come back and it's opened, which is really weird, but at least I can get into it if I need to. It's not completely ruled out looking at it. Which is a bit annoying, but yeah, I can do it. It seems to be just this map that is not working for me. I have looked. Um, but if I can find out the problem, then that will sort a lot of things out. Uh, the combine is taking quite a while. Been sat here a few minutes now. It was dithering about over the far end for a while. The case keeps getting in the way. but it's coming down here now. So we should be able to buy the auto stacker probably when I get down to the far end. We'll be able to sell it and we'll go and get the auto stacker. And we will, I think we'll get a couple of loads, maybe maybe one or two loads just to stack, get it all started up. Um, and then we will continue tomorrow. This I can tell is gonna be stretched over a number of parts this field. Which is something which I try and avoid, but I don't do big fields very often. So, yeah, it'll be just this once, I think, that we spread a field over a number of parts. But this is a good judgement. It's just come up to here now, and you can see inside the tank that it is probably about half full. So I could have gone way down that end and still been okay. It's just sort of guessing where it's going to be to empty. Now a 12 metre header, that is pretty big, and it is, to be fair, doing quite a lot in one go. It's only been up and down twice here, um, and it's actually covered all of that. So that's not too bad, that's 24 metres obviously. So it is actually getting it done fairly quickly, because it's going around the circle, so it looks like it's doing less than it really is. But it shouldn't take too long. Um, yeah, it's going to take a while. We'll, we'll put it that way. It's, it's going to take a while, but um, yeah, it, it's not the field of choice by all, by any means. I was going to do the smaller one, but yeah, it, it, this was just the one which was closest, and it was wheat, so we could bale it. My ideal field to do would have been 11, but then that was obviously rape, so I probably should have gone over to field 6 or something, but yep, I know this time, and um, 
we, we will know for next time to do a different one uh, but yeah I'll do some of it off screen as well I won't uh, record all of the field for any of you it's not like sitting there thinking oh I'm not going to have to sit here watching the whole field get done am I no you don't I will definitely cut some out and uh, make it a bit more interesting and everything because uh, the last thing I want is to lose my audience by boring them to death so yeah we'll wait here for the combine to turn up and that bale is in, a bit in the way hopefully it's not going to hit it I don't know if this will be enough to be able to afford the auto stacker I'm really hoping it is I think I'm going to empty now I'm not going to continue with 84% in the trailer, that would be stupid. Um, the only thing which concerns me is that bale. Hopefully, it's going to avoid it. Mhm. Mm Looks to have done. Now this is left hand drive and I'm really not used to left hand drive at all. In fact I don't even know how to reverse a left hand drive lorry. You can't really see in the mirrors. No, I'm sort of I'm sort of in the right direction here. Let's see if I can get it in there. Oh, it's going round. This is bad. If I can reverse it into here, I'll be impressed because no, hit something. Yeah, the mirrors, oh, I was way off. The mirrors are really not set up properly, and I have downloaded the mirror mod before, like I've explained in some of my other videos, but I could never get it to work, which was weird. Um. Are we going in? I don't know what I'm doing. Well, I am. I'm actually going in. I'll see if I can go all the way then. We almost hit the fence. Gate. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to get it the rest of the way. These mirrors just are not set up enough. No, I've hit something. Uh, yeah, we, we'll stop fooling around now. We'll quickly unload it. Now we need 40 something thousand. Let's have a look. See what this can give us. Looking promising. Mmm. Definitely then. We'll go and buy it. No doubt the combine will be full again already, so we'll have to go and empty that. And then we'll begin. Right, so I think we might as well buy it now. Um, bailing technology, auto stacker, and we'll put it on the. Uh, what's it called? The Sammy, I think. Not the case. That should be almost done. Put this out of the way temporarily. And we'll jump into the Sammy. Which is just here. And we need to go and pick it up. Now this wouldn't be my first choice for towing this with, uh, but I mean the John Deere is already on a trailer and I'd like to keep it there as like a backup. Um, the case is obviously bailing and then it leaves this and really it's the only available tractor. I mean, it should be able to do it, I can't see any reason why it wouldn't be able to. 
think the stack will be obviously somewhere flat, probably somewhere around here actually. The only thing I'm a bit wary of is obviously causing lag. Putting loads of bales together can be not so good for them, not, not so good for the uh, frame rate. Um, but it should be fine, we'll put it here anyway. Now I think this is the first time I've used the square auto stacker. Since FS13. And you can get a lot more on than you can with the round ones. So I'm just going to head sort of roughly up here and then when we get sort of closer to full we'll turn around and come back down. Combine has stopped. We're obviously in its trigger zone for stopping. We'll just have to sort that out. That is a very wide area though for it to think that we're going to unload. Okay. So that's moving, that's bailing, we're doing this. Not doing too badly really. And we are getting sort of half full, I think. See if we can get to the top and then come down a bit as well. One more layer on there. should be full. Yep, I think that's it. That was full to me. Just check. Yep. So we will fold this up and we'll go and drop our first load. Looking pretty good though. Okay, so this area here looks really flat. I think we'll put it here. About there. And if I just keep building up from that each time. And then whenever I need the bells, I can just come up here with my spike. And take a few off. And... There we go. There it is, the first one. I think I actually prefer this over the round bale one. So we'll pick up one more load. But yeah, when you look at it, that in one video, not that impressive. But yeah, I, I, I'm kind of slow paced. Don't want to rush through everything. And the slower I take it, and the less we do, the more parts we get out of the map. So you can look at it that way. And the final bail. Okay, so there we go, another full load. The combine I've just noticed is full over there, so we will empty that at the beginning of tomorrow's video. That'll be the first thing to do. And we'll continue with the field, we'll also continue with collecting up all the bales. But really, we've not had any mess ups today. The follow me mods worked really well. Not crashed into the combine at all really, I don't think. I think it maybe have done once, but nothing to really mess up any plans. So I think once this has been dropped off, then that'll be it for today. I'll just straighten that up a bit. Make it look good. Hard to tell where you are actually when you're in cab. You can't see it at all. Where are you going? I think you're supposed to sort of get into position first and then tip it up. 
Yeah, a little off. I mean, I'm not a perfectionist. I don't really want to uh, make a big thing about getting it straight. It's just it look good. And I also need to keep an eye on how close I get because if you get too close, now they can sort of explode. So that's probably as close as I want to get. So, yep, that looks good. Hopefully I don't pull any down. Let's have a look. So there we go. I think that is good. I don't want it any closer because obviously they can uh, spawn on top of each other which would make a mess. Uh, but if I can continue like that, maybe close it up a little bit. That's a bit wide. But there we go. That is it for today. We'll continue tomorrow with more of this field and of course with some more bale stacking. So thanks for watching and bye for now.